All right. All right. Well, welcome, grow friends. Come on in. Let us know as you arrive that you're here, or let us know if you're watching on replay. Um, this is our Thursday member spotlight. So every Thursday at 10 a.m., we highlight uh, some of our premium grow members. So um, we'll, you'll see, I'm sure if you've watched this before, you've seen the wheel, wheel spun. And this week, I'm really excited that we have Ann Spragans here today. Uh, we may have somebody else joining us. I'll keep fingers crossed. But if not, I can certainly talk about um, Casey's work. But we're going to start out with Ann. And you do go by Ann, right? Not Ann Marie? Yep. I'm just, okay. Yep. Okay, good, good. So, so just tell us about your business, just overall. What do you do? Okay, uh, I own Do It Right Sport and Fitness in Lancaster. We're a group and private uh, training studio. We work with primarily people over the age of forty, uh, just to get healthier, stronger, move better, feel better. Um, and it's either done in person or online, depending on the setting for and where people live. Yeah. Okay, I'm curious. You said over forty. How did how did that age age range come to play? Did you pick that, or did that just naturally happen? It kind of just uh, naturally happened. Uh, like a lot of the clients that I work with have had like aches or pains, and then I got really into doing groups, and a lot of the people I train have had aches or pains. So like the programming tends to be designed for like people over forty, but then it just gets scaled. But it just happened naturally, and just the common people who come in when they refer friends it ends up being that age group yeah no kidding oh well that yeah. that worked out really well and being over 40 that sounds really good <laughs> so yeah. so tell yeah tell me about some of your like your group programs what do they involve what are they like uh most of them are like groups of like eight to ten people with in a uh some are in person and some are on zoom at the same time uh mostly doing strength train like strength training and then they just get customized based off of who's there like say somebody is like has a, a lot of experience they're probably going to be doing something different than somebody with no experience they just get scaled and customized based off of who's here and the workout changes every day but they have all the same premises behind it okay. so it keeps it fun and exciting but not you need like repetition in order to see results so and changes so they have all the same premises but just a few variations in them Okay. And what, what type of workouts do you focus on? Or do you do a variety of, you know, cardio and strength or what? It's primarily strength training, but there's definitely some cardio built in. Um, uh, it's mostly like in a group setting, it's timed intervals, but then like private training is all mostly strength training. And okay. I'm just encouraging people to get cardio on their own. Cause I mean, normally it's nicer weather than a lot of snowy weather, but there's lots of ways to get cardio and stuff outside. Yeah, yeah. Well, even with this, I see a yeah. lot of people online getting their snowshoes and cross country skis out. This we've certainly had the weather for it lately. <laughs> yeah, they've had a, there's like fun hiking challenges and stuff too, which yep. are yeah. Oh, I love that. Uh, WNY, the uh, Outside Chronicles does that WNY hiking challenge yeah. every season. It's awesome. Yeah, my family is doing the outdoor one right now. <laughs> We're only like two in, but yeah. It's a lot oh, of I love that. I love it. Well, since you do Zoom, do you work with clients outside of the Buffalo area or do you find that they're usually here in this area? Um, I have a few, like a few people live in uh, Michigan and a few in New York City. Someone just started from Connecticut. Um, yeah, it started to span outward since the Zoom started. So that's been pretty cool. That is fabulous. So how long have you been yeah. doing it now? Um, I've had my gym, it'll be six years in June. And I started the zoom stuff with the pandemic. So oh, <laughs> didn't we all, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to use the zoom a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. very early on in grow. Cause we started at the beginning of the, the entire organization at the beginning of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And you did a, um, I don't want to call it a workshop, but you, mm -hmm. you did a presentation for us about staying healthy in, um, yep. especially with the pandemic start. And I think that was really early on, wasn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. probably one of the, in the first month or two. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking so too. Yeah. That was, was that was Kristen and Allison. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's funny. I'm talking to Allison actually a little bit later today, so I'm excited oh, about that. I'm bummed she moved away, but Allison Pantelli, we're, <laughs> Pantelli, we're talking about you. <laughs> um, but anyway, anyway, so what what prompted you to start um, the fitness center in the first place? I'm just curious. In all honesty, I was working at a gym and then a nursing home, and then I started subleasing from a bunch of places. And then I got sick of like bouncing around from place to place. And I wanted to make it a place where like people really felt like a community and felt comfortable. And that's how it is. So yeah, just wanted to build something that people would want to stay at and like have fun and like become fitness friends. So uh, yeah. now are you doing this on your own or do you have people there with you also helping? Yeah, I have a few part-time trainers and then a yoga instructor who does yoga on Saturday. Oh, um, that's fabulous. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're all really great people. And so that works out well. Good, so, good. Yeah. So what what do you find to be your client's biggest challenges? Do you find similar uh, situations coming in? People are struggling with similar situations? A lot of it is uh, nutrition actually that like is their biggest struggle because they make a lot of great changes in the gym but like if things are slow they realize that like the nutrition is fine um or like if they got a nagging injury that's a, like just due to like overuse in their everyday life like a lot of people have had like wrist stuff since sitting at their desk more often yeah um so yeah those have been more common lately than anything and i feel like w since the pandemic started uh, a lot of people like with the, their nutrition has been a huge issue so a lot of them start working on like different habits to change because the a lot of habits came out during the pandemic that weren't as healthy like yeah but yeah so yeah. do you provide a nutrition component with the work that you do uh i I have a nutrition certification through Precision Nutrition and we do like habit-based changes. And then if somebody uh, needs help, like if they're looking for like protein powder or like something with like to help with sleep, I have something that I can recommend for them, like due to what I've used and based off of a lot of research into different products. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Now that's good to know. And actually it's interesting that two of the three people that were selected for today are involved in health and fitness. So Casey oh, really? is involved in the nutrition side of things as well. Oh. So I'm going to talk a little bit about her work um, in just a minute. But um, so you've been in business for six years and got the last two years, I'm sure have been a challenge. What, what do you attribute your business success to? Has there been one or two things that you think has really helped keep you going? And you know, they all say, you know, if you can get past that five year mark, you're, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say a lot of it is the community aspect at the gym because I, I ended up maintaining like the same amount of clients. I lost a few, gained a few, but like the clients have all stayed like, and people have been really happy and just being client focused, like making sure people stay happy. I think that's been the key, like, and it's fun. So I love what I do. So it makes it a lot easier. And then all the coaches that I have, they all love what they do. So it makes it a whole lot easier. Oh, absolutely. That atmosphere and that attitude is so important and um, infectious, right? If you yeah. all are having a great time, the people you're working with are too. So yeah. I'm sure that makes it terrific. Well, good, good. Definitely. Well, what, what is the best way to reach you to find more information about what you do? Uh, either on our website or Facebook page. Um, and both have all the contact info on either one of those. Okay, good. And I, you sent those to me, so I'll be sure to update the yeah. post uh, for this video with that contact information. <laughs> and I really encourage anyone who is, Ann and I were talking when we first got on the call that, you know, whether it's a New Year's resolution or a, a New Year's resolution that may have kind of faded a bit, <laughs> you want to re-resolute. Um, Anne's just a terrific resources when it, resource when it comes to the fitness side of things. So um, it's great to be able to talk with you about that. Is there anything yeah. else that you wanted to share about your business that I may not have touched on? I think you're good. Thank you, though. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm only going to be on for about probably another five or so minutes. Um, so you're welcome to, to hang out here with me or you can pop off, you know, whatever you prefer. Uh, I'll just pop my video off and listen in. <laughs> sounds okay. Good. Sounds good. Right. Well, thanks again for being here. All right. Thanks, Connie. Okay. Mike Anderson.
I see you've you've popped onto the live. Um, yeah, I, I'm with you on needing to get uh, my butt in shape. That's for sure. But um, <laughs> I'm glad you could pop in and watch. And anybody else who's here who may just be um, seeing the video if, or if you're watching the replay, just come on in and say hello. Love to virtually uh, chat with you here. But um, I'd like to share also some information about another member who we're spotlighting today, Katie. And uh, I have just been the queen of butchering names lately, but hopefully I'll get this right. I believe it's Wandell. Um, Kate, Casey, I'm sorry, Casey Wandell. Um, Casey was selected. And it's like I just said with Anne, it's really interesting that we're, it, this is a real fitness focus for our member spotlights. So Casey sent me a little bit of information that I'll share with you here. Uh, Casey is a Buffalonian by marriage, a French teacher by day, an entrepreneur by night. So this is a busy woman. And as she says, as a busy wife and mom of four, oh my goodness, she's made it her mission to help as many people as possible have access to hearty, wholesome, low carb meals fast. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be getting in touch with this person. <laughs> Casey, look out. Um, whether it's someone who wants to eat healthy but can't be bothered with the carb calorie macro counting game or someone who feels too busy to make all the micro decisions that lead to healthier eating, or maybe you just don't even know where to start, uh, Casey is your lady. So let's get clean, low carb, fresh, never frozen meals and snacks in your hands today. Uh, locked in with clean eating but still not making strides. She'd love to chat with you about that too. So Casey, I'm going to share her information on the post as well to contact. I know, um, again, we're all interested in getting healthier and, and feeling good. So whether it's fitness with Anne or nutrition and these meals with Casey, we've got a lot of great resources here. And Casey, oh, I see you. You just popped on with a comment. She was hoping to be here live, but has virtual teaching today. Uh, yeah, I was, I was hoping with the snow that you may have gotten a snow day. It might be able to come on but it, it sounds like you're uh you're uh working oh you did send a video actually let me see if i can pop this up real quick because i didn't see one come through but let me just check uh anybody who's watching just come on in and say hello uh, okay no i see i did not get the video it sounds like you sent that to mike well um we will figure out a way to share that that may be um, in the email spotlight or uh, when we do an actual another post for this but uh, Casey really appreciate you preparing that and uh, it's just great having you and Anne here so for anyone who wants to be featured as uh, on a member spotlight for one of these Thursdays and I can see we've got a really really nice picture here too <laughs> Um, all you need to do really is become a premium member. Uh, you'll see I'll be spinning the wheel to select three people for next week. So what that involves is um, we have a, a very affordable premium membership. It's only $120 for the year. Uh, currently that, that pricing is going up soon, but you get a wealth of value with that. You get um, free or very low cost attendance to almost all of our events, first opportunities at sponsorships. We have a library. Gosh, it's probably close to 300 videos now of uh, educational resources resources for small business owners. Um, the directory that you have access to, it's really just a, a terrific perk of um, supporting grow as our, we are a nonprofit and helping support other small businesses. So if you're not already a premium member, please go to our website and check that out. And I'll post that in the, um, in the video post as well. So uh, speaking of that, let's go to our wheel and pick our next, uh, select our members for next week and then i'll tell you a little bit about the events that we have coming up all right so here we go spinning the wheel for our next member spotlights
right, Andrew Drewski Scott. Oh, I'm excited to talk with him. I know Andrew is a realtor here in the area. I don't know if he's all residential or commercial too, but it'll be good to speak with him and learn about his work. Our second person. Sally Herberger, the growth coach. Oh, this is great. Actually, Sally and I were on the phone together or on Zoom yesterday talking. So it'll be great to have Sally on as well. She's a, an amazing coach. She goes into organizations and helps them with team uh, building and leadership. Great coach. And then here's our third person. All right, Heather Murphy. Heather was at our um, our vendor event. She has some amazing clothing that, that she designed. She has imprints done. Um, and I believe Amy Shellman, one of our other members, also sells some of her um, her products as well. But it'll be great to have Heather on. Uh, in addition to the other two we just selected. So it'll be a really good conversation there. And then just to share some of the events that we have coming up, just a second here. We've got, um, Grow's got a lot of things in the works right now. We're really excited about bringing some more in-person back uh, with springtime coming. But as always, we have our Monday morning kickoffs. Those are just a great way to start the week. Great way to receive some inspiration, motivation, learn something from another uh, small business owner. The topics vary, but we, we always learn so much. And then we go into networking and introduce ourselves so it's just a terrific way to meet other members, especially if you're new to grow, uh, just to come talk a little bit about your business, make some connections there, uh, find some people that you want to connect with offline, and just help build those relationships and help support each other in our businesses. So we've got some great um, speakers coming up for those events. We have Steve Lutter on uh, next Monday. He is the owner of Ace Handyman Services. Uh, I've personally used him, amazing, uh, but he'll he's a terrific person and I know he'll have some great inspiration for us. We have Tan Tanner Sanderson coming up after that. Tanner is a cybersecurity expert and he also is going to be doing a workshop for us, looks like in April, but I bet we'll get a taste of that uh, in a couple of weeks. That's actually on Valentine's Day. And then we'll also have Arlen Williams uh, at our next Monday kickoff on that February 21st. Arlen is the owner of Serenity Salt Cave. Oh, fabulous place. It's one of my favorite places to go. So she'll also, I'm sure, provide some really great inspiration for us. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we also have Allison Kelly coming in to do a workshop on Instagram. Will always be helpful. Jennifer Culver is coming in in a, a about a month or so to talk with us about how your health, health helps or hinders your business. So a lot of other things coming up that will just be terrific. In addition, we've got some Dale Carnegie quarterly in-person workshops coming up. Those uh, Carlisle Lipke helped coordinate those with Mike Anderson. I'm sure they'll be amazing and just a lot of other great things in the works. So Thank you for watching and thank you so much for being here with me. And uh, I'll go ahead and update the information for both Anne and Casey on the post. And uh, feel free to jump on in in the comments even after this is over with and let us know your thoughts and just to say hello. All right, so everyone have a great rest of your week and weekend. Bye-bye.